Well, hello everyone and welcome back to yet another video on my YouTube channel, Mr. B is Electronics. So in this video, we'll be repairing this Pixel 7 Pro. Uh, it's actually not in the best shape. You can see the display is missing, uh, the parts are missing, but I have opened, uh, there's, a, there's a metal plate over here, I've opened this, it is right over here. And the back glass is missing, both the top and the bottom part, so uh, as well as the wireless charging, you can see it has been cut off right over here. So it's, a, it's in bad shape, it's in bad shape, no doubt, but uh, I've got all the parts laid out over here, and uh, the back glass, the wireless charging, and the display is uh, uh, right over here, the display is here with the embedded fingerprint, but uh, I don't know why the fingerprint isn't working, uh, I have to go through some calibration process, I guess, so we'll come to that when we get there. In the meanwhile, let's not waste any more time and dive right into the repair video. So to start it off, uh, I will be first attaching this one, the wireless charging. So to fit the wireless charging coil and the NFC coil, the connector is actually a press fit connector at the underside of the motherboard. So everything needs to be disconnected to get to the underside between the metal chassis and the motherboard. Uh, you will see later on in the video. So here what I'm doing is disconnecting the battery first and this is the 5G millimeter antenna connector that I've disconnected just now. So there is one single screw which you can see right now that I'm unscrewing that is holding down the antenna for the 5G millimeter wave and there is also another metal bracket which will just come loose and then the antenna will literally fall off along with the flex cable attached to it. Next comes the cameras the camera module because the whole pcb needs to come out uh, it is underneath here you can see three connections so let's keep it somewhere where the camera lenses don't get smudged I'll keep it up top over here heavy. So this is the selfie camera it's loose now but uh, I won't be taking it out because my main goal is the PCB this is something disconnected this is disconnected over here and this is disconnected now let's see what it's and ten a cable over here. Okay, now let's focus down here. We've got a few screws holding things down. Let's see if I can take out the battery. As we have a hole over here, it shouldn't be too difficult. Just like that. The battery is out, as you can see. With the glass on, it would have been difficult, but the glass is not there. We have to inject the same tray. Let's get some. Just hold it like this and keep it like this because the antennas are underneath. I don't want to mess with that. This is the one. This is the the connector for the wireless charging cable, and the previous owner just ripped it off because it is underneath here. Nobody wants to get there. So yeah. So now all we need to do is put this thing underneath here, kind of like this. Uh, I think this needs to be a little bit folded. Okay. So this is not only the wireless charging, but the NFC coil also is over here. Okay. So out comes the T7000. So let's. Dab in a bit over here. Turn it around and uh, let's fix this part. 
So this is a bit tricky because this one needs to fold, but the cable needs to fold. So let's zoom in on there. Just feel of this part. It is sticky. It's a little bit tricky. Uh, I hope you are able to see that. Uh, that should be enough. Let me just pick it up and uh, show you. And uh, the corresponding underneath is uh, see these four pins. Yeah, as far as I can tell, they are going to connect. No problem. Okay. So let's quickly put it down. Uh, but before doing that, let's see all the cables are up or not. Uh, yeah. This needs to be there. So there and at the bottom first the, the type C one goes first. Okay, so let's start plugging things in. You don't need to see all this, we'll come back when everything is done. The display, let's do the display. So this is the display, the fingerprint is on here, I did it earlier but unfortunately I don't think the fingerprint is working, I tested the display, the display is working fine. I also have pasted this matte finish here, just because it looks good. Uh, let's do the display and see if everything is working or not. And okay, before the display, I wanted to say is that this selfie camera, if you can see, it's kind of free floating. Right? That's not how it's supposed to be. So just got this little weird bracket thingy which centers the selfie camera onto this hole. But uh, this one needs to be glued on over here. So let's do that. Very tiny amount of glue, otherwise it will spill everywhere and smudge everything. Very, very small amount of That's that. That's it. That's... One thing, this bracket is a little bit finicky because what happens is that you have to take out the display first and then the bracket by opening this small clip. Uh, I, I'll, I'll throw up an uh, original image of this bracket over here. So basically, there was a small connecting piece over here, which I just cut off with the help of scissors. Now what happens is that I can take out the bra bracket first, I, I'll show you, and then the display. Otherwise, what happens when this bracket is on like this, let's say I open this one and you have to connect this display connector over here. The display connector cable is so short that you cannot actually press it in when this bracket is on here. And after the bracket is on there, then you press fit this one and it holds it together. But that's that's really troublesome. So what I did is I just cut off this connecting piece. And now what I can do, connect the display first and then the bracket. I, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Just very carefully connect this one. Yeah, you can actually see how short the cable is. So when there is a bulky bracket over here, you can't press it in. It's done. You can see it's connected over there. So let's quickly turn it on. Okay, that's that's good news. That's really good news. Uh, I'll check out the basic functionalities and everything uh, before gluing this on, like the touch and everything. Yeah, the touch is working. Okay. Let's check out the cameras. Okay, this is the 1x, 2x, 5x, 0.5x. So that's good. The selfie camera, it's not centered at the moment. So everything is working. Let's quickly turn it off. And if we can get, you can see how the camera, selfie camera, is a little bit offset over here. Yeah. yeah. See what I mean? As soon as I press it, it comes back center due to that bracket. So that bracket is essential for it to hold it centrally. So at the moment, I'm just press fitting it uh, because I'm going to attack the back side. So on the back side, let me just give you the glass panels and everything. 
so I went for this grey color, uh, which I think is really class and really unique color, steel grey type of color. So this is the top glass. These glasses were extremely expensive for what it is. It's just back glass. But nonetheless, I was told that these were pulled from the original phone. So this is OEM quality. I don't know. Let's see. Ah. So as soon as I peel this off, you can see there's a small cutout of the glue over here. So what it is, is this exact antenna over here, which I have taped over here. There is a small connector on it and it just connects to a pin. I mean, I don't know the significance of this, but it is held on in this part. So rather than gluing it over here and then trying to place it uh, I just placed it over here and put a little bit of tape on it it will hold and other than this I will also put a little bit of my favorite glue T7000 a little bit not too much otherwise I won't be able to open it up so the top back glass is fitted it's glued on it needs to be taped up for 24 hours for the glue to set. Before that, let's do this one. And right before that, let me just peel this one off. It has got its own sticky glue of some kind. Uh, so. I mainly like to do the corners. So now all I need to do in theory is just close it up. Press it on. And what I was talking about earlier is that you have to clean off the residue from the previous glass, the shards or anything. If anything is poking up and you are just pressing the glass like this, and it will just simply crack. So before attempting these, cleaning and everything is extremely, extremely important. That looks like a proper Google Pixel now. Let me just quickly put in the SIM tray. And it's off. Now, to fix the glass, I'll be, I mean the display, the NT7000. Because I know that everything is working correctly at the moment, except the fingerprint, which I'll be getting on later, if I can. And before that, let me just show you what I was telling by fixing the bracket, which I'm missing. So now what happens is that I can simply slide the bracket in, just like that. Uh, you can see I cannot pull up the display too much. Now there are a lot of screws. You are saying, you would be thinking that, oh, how would you screw things in? Well, let me show you. So these ones from the side can be attacked very easily, just like that. Even the central one I can reach. If you can see it. Okay. That's that. Uh, even the bottom ones I can reach. There are two in the bottom near the charging board. I'll show you. I'll show you. Show you later. Here you can see what I was talking about. Uh, there is a, there was a small connecting piece over here which wouldn't have allowed me to slip it on after the display is on. So this is one of the screws. These are the two screws at the bottom over here, and this is the central screw. Sorry, this is the central screw. There are three more screws right here, here, and here. So for those, what I need to do. It's actually very simple what you need to be careful is just shift over the display a little bit little bit and just like that you have to be extra careful while doing this not to bend the cable too much Okay, and 
last but not the least the last one and that's that and that is how i am able to get around the bracket thing uh, comment below if you like my idea of cutting that part uh, i know it's not oem or original but it's for the ease of repair okay now without talking let's use the t7000 and glue the pedimeters Let's quickly turn on the display. It's still working. Now oh, push it. So this needs to be again taped up. Dance, make it hurt.